Hello, Risa uh, in the Dear Boss. I am as the county attorney. Hello, my name is Sonia Wegarista and I am as Mrs. Hale. with a big case on, but I told him not to touch anything except the stove and you know friend. I think somebody should have been left here yesterday, but I don't know. Oh, yesterday when I had to send Frank to Mori Center for that man who went crazy, I want you to know that I had my hands full yesterday. I knew that could get back from Omaha by today and as long as I went over everything here myself. I guess you go upstairs first and then out to the barn and around there. Um, you're convinced that there was nothing important here. Nothing would uh, have point to any motive? Nothing here, just kitchen things. Yeah, here's a nice man. I'd love to talk more of that a little later. I want to get the lay of things upstairs now. I suppose anything Mrs. Peters does will be alright. She wants to take in some clothes for her, you know, and a few little things. We left in such a hurry yesterday. Yes, but I would like to see what you take, Mrs. Peters, and keep an eye out for anything that might be used of us. Yes, Mr. Anderson. I hate to have men coming into my kitchen snooping around and criticizing. Of course, it's no more than their duty. Right was close. I think maybe that's why she kept so much to herself. She didn't even belong to the ladies' aid. I suppose she felt she couldn't do her part. And then you don't enjoy things when you feel shabby. She used to wear pretty clothes and be lively when she was Minnie Foster, one of the town girls singing in the choir. And that, oh, that was 30 years ago. This. Oh, you was to take in? She said she wanted an apron. Funny thing, Mr. Wong, for there isn't much to get you dirty in jail. Goodness knows. But I suppose just to make her feel more natural, she said there was in the top drawer in the cupboard. Yes, here. And then her little shawl that always hung behind the door. Mrs. Peters. Yes, Mrs. Hill? Do you think she did it? I don't know. Well, I don't think she did. Asking for her apron and her little shawl, worrying about her fruit. Mr. Peter says it looks bad for her. Mr. Henderson is almost sarcastic in a speech and he'll make fun of her saying she didn't wake up. Well, I guess John Wright didn't wake when they was slipping that rope under his neck. No, it's strange. It must have been done awful classy on sale. They say it was such a funny way to kill a man, digging it all up like that. Mr. Hale said there was a gun in the house. He says that what he was, he can't understand. Mr. Henderson said coming out that what was needed for the case was a motive, something to show anger or Sudden feeling. Well, I don't see any 
kinds of anger around here. Wonder how they are finding things upstairs. I hope she had it a little more red up, up there. You know, it seems kind of sneaking, locking her up in town and then coming out here and trying to get her own house to get, go against her. But, Mrs. Hill, the law is the law. Mrs. Peters, look at this one. Here, this is the one she was been working on. And look at the sewing. All the rest of it is all nice and even. And look at this. All over the place. Why, it looks as if she didn't know what she was all about. Oh, Mrs. Hill, what are you doing? Just pulling out a stitch or two, not that suit, not very good. Bad sewing always makes me so fidgety. Oh, but I don't think we ought to such things. What do you suppose she was so worried about? I don't know. I don't know if she was nervous. I sometimes saw a little clear when I just tired. Well, I must get these things wrapped up. They may be true sooner than we think. I wonder where I can find a piece of paper and string. Did she have a bird, Mrs. Hill? Why, I don't know if she had a bird or not. I've not been here for long. There was a man around last year selling canaries cheap. But I don't know if she took one. Maybe she did. She used to real sing, sing real pretty herself. Seems funny to think of a bird here, but she must have had one. Or why would she have a cage? I wonder what happened to it. Well, maybe she kept her scissors in here. What? There's something wrapped up in silk in here. Why this isn't her scissors? Have you decided whether she was going to fill or not it? We think she was going to not it. Well, that's interesting. I'm sure. Uh, anyway, has the bird found? We think the cat caught it. Is there a cat here? Well, not now. They are super stateless, you know. Uh, they live outside at all of anyone having come from outside. They're on the road. Now, let's go up again and go for it piece by piece. Uh, it would have to have been someone who knew just the... Okay, let's go upstairs now. I think she lost the bird and she was about to bury it in this pretty box. Where is the girl? My keeper. There was a boy who had it and before my eyes and before I could go there. <laughs> if they hadn't helped me back, I would have hurt him. I wonder how it would have seemed never to have had any children around. No. Right wouldn't like the bird. A thing that sings. She used to sing. He killed that too. We don't know who killed the bird. I knew John Wright. It was an awful thing who stood in this house that night, Mrs. Hale. Killing a man while he slept. Slipping, slipping a rope around his neck that choked the life out of him. His neck choked the life out of him. It's not perfectly clear except for 
parties that are doing it. Uh, but you know, during when it comes to women, it, if there was uh, some divine thing, something to you know, uh, something to make a story about, and then a thing that would connect up with the strange way of doing. Um, do you want to see what Mrs. Peter is going to talk pick me? Oh, I guess there are not very dangerous things the ladies have picked out. Mr. Peter, Mrs. Peters doesn't need supervising. For that matter, a sheriff's wife is married to the law. Married to the law? Uh, I think we need to go there. Ha 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 ha!